It's GeoTracker, the first 3D object tracker for Adobe After Effects. When installed, the plugin can be found in the Effects and Presets menu. Open the Keen Tools toolbar and attach it wherever you like. We're going to replace the texture of this gift box, and to track it, we need a similar 3D model. This gift box is basically just a cube, so one of the built-in primitives can be used. Click the mesh in the most distinct area to create your first pin and drag it to the appropriate position. Then create more pins and drag them to place the object. Time to hit the track button. GeoTracker is now following the gift box frame by frame. When GeoTracker loses the object, you can manually fix the position of the model. Stop the tracking process. Adjust the position of the cube so it matches the box. When you move pins, GeoTracker creates a new keyframe. Push the Refine button to retrack the object between the nearest keyframes. Now it's much better. When tracking is finished, we are ready to export the track. Let's find the Object Track panel and export a 3D null. Now you can link a textured 3D object with the exported null, so all transformations and rotations will be applied to the new 3D object. Many tracking tasks can be solved with four primitive shapes available out of the box. They are plane for screens, walls and any flat surfaces, sphere for balls, heads and other spherical objects, cube for vehicles, boxes, buildings, etc. and cylinder for bottles, cups and so on. Besides primitives, GeoTracker supports custom 3D models. Let's change the license plate on this car. Load your custom 3D model, then pin it and start tracking. Refine where necessary to get an accurate track. In this case, instead of exporting transformations of the whole car, you can export a null that represents a point on the surface of the 3D model. Now, link the layer with the plate to the exported surface point null object. Occlusions and reflections often mess up tracking. Happily, in most cases, GeoTracker can manage them without you even noticing. But if you wish, you can always use 2D masks to cover the area that has to be excluded from tracking. Knowing camera settings is important for precise tracking, and GeoTracker can estimate the focal length when it is unknown. First, let's try to pin the table using the camera with the wrong focal length. When you drag the pins, the mesh doesn't align with the object, signaling that the current perspective is wrong. Let's activate the focal length estimation and start pinning again to see the difference. Now GeoTracker is picking the focal length on the go. It allows you to place objects in the scene as precisely as possible. The results exported from GeoTracker can be used anywhere in After Effects. We'll show it with several notable plugins. Let's add sunglasses with Element 3D. Firstly, we need to track the head movement. Then choose the glasses, customize the model in Element 3D and import it into the scene. With GeoTracker, any point of the object can be turned into a particle emitter. Let's track the can to add a spray cloud. Export the sprayer coordinates as a null and link the stardust emitter to it. Need something more advanced? Let's rock in Cinema 4D and add hair to the head. As before, it all starts with head tracking. In this case, you need to export the camera and null to our composition and then pass them to Cinema 4D. Comp the new head back into the footage. Download free GeoTracker Beta for After Effects from keentools.io.